Today in the news, we have a story on the school Wi-Fi, a quick interview with Emery and Miss Averill, and a new episode of Common Knowledge. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Howdy. And I'm Tanner. Let's get into the news. Mason, have you been noticing some issues with the Wi-Fi lately? It's not exactly the model of consistency. Well, it's been pretty spotty most of the time, so Kyle went to investigate. We have been noticing some problems with the Wi-Fi lately. We went to talk to some students and staff to get to the bottom of this. I think overall it's been pretty solid. I know that there was kind of that time earlier this spring where it was, you know, about every single class where we had issues with it. But, you know, I realize overall that it's a pretty big job to provide wireless internet for, you know, the thousand plus people that are in the school on their computers at any given point in time. Well, the Wi-Fi this year is really not good because when I'm in seminar, it's always turning off and I have a class that day where I need to do homework for and I just can't complete my homework on time because the Wi-Fi is off. Uh, you know, I remember in Miss Marshbank's room we were trying to watch a movie and it wouldn't work because the Wi-Fi was down and it just sucks because you can't really do anything when it's down. If the Wi-Fi on your computer is down, try turning it on and off. If that doesn't work, the Wi-Fi is probably down. Um, it kind of depends on the day. There's some days where we're on the computers um, quite a bit more than other days. There's other days where we don't use them at all. Um, I think we rely on it more for submitting assignments and keeping track of stuff like that, um, and also research. So it kind of it's kind of a day by day thing. It's we don't use them every day, but some days we use them. You're trying to get your homework done and you can't, you just can't do anything because of what it's down. Um, I appreciate the. Um, tech people that are busy with that. I mean, I'm sure on a daily basis, I don't know fully what goes into that job, but um, you know, we gotta be grateful to them and what they do for us. Everyone hopes for better Wi-Fi to come. Now back to your anchors. That's pretty good information. Now on with the rest of your announcements. The Drive Out Hunger Car Show will be held in the South parking lot of the high school on Saturday, April 27th from one to three. Senior Writing Center consultants are eligible to receive a $500 scholarship provided by the Writing Center's Viking Brew Coffee Shop. Those that are interested should fill out the Google form on the Writing Center Schoology page. Deadline is April 30th. Emery wants to talk to Ms. Avril a little bit more about that scholarship for Writing Center consultants. Hey Vex, the Writing Center's coffee shop, Viking Brew, is giving out a scholarship. Um, so who is the scholarship for? Uh, the scholarship is for seniors who are Writing Center workers, consultants. Uh, why is there a scholarship? There's a scholarship so that we can support um, seniors who have been putting in a lot of volunteer hours for the Writing Center. Uh, we want something to be on behalf of the English department and just be able to provide support to kids that need some assistance in college financially. If you're interested, there is a link on the Writing Center Schoology page to apply. Thanks, Ms. Averill. You're welcome. They don't just give those out. So if you're a Writing Center consultant, you've got a pretty good chance of making it. The last day for driver's education enrollment is on May 7th. You can enroll through the Seaman High School website. Contact Mr. Tinsley with questions. Any student interested in joining the Writing Center consultant staff next year must fill out an application on the website. You must complete the senior survey from the counseling department, seniors. The following students have been selected as this week's safe winners. Trey Duffy, Kobe Bonner, and Casey Tanner. Thank you for pledging to always wear your seatbelt. Stop by the security office to pick up your prize. Now we're going to head over to Mason with some stuff on sports. Mr. Elliott is training and preparing to run with the Bulls. Run, Coach Elliott, run! If you want an official Mr. Elliott Run with the Bulls t-shirt, order yours at lunch. The cost is $15. All proceeds go to the wrestling team. Congratulations to the boys baseball team who swept, swept Topeka West last night. There will be a brief information meeting for boys interested in cross country next fall in room 910 during activity period on Friday. 
Boys Soccer will have a meeting on Friday, April 26th, right after school in W15. Anyone interested in playing soccer next year is welcome. The Auxiliary Dance Clinic will be April 27th from 9 a.m. to 12. Tryouts start at 1. Tanner will have your weather report shortly. What's up, Vikes? Josh isn't here again today, but I'm going to bring you your weather. So, today we've reached currently 63 degrees, not exactly where I want it to be. And tonight we're going to reach all the way down to 49 degrees. I want to know where spring went. And your three day forecast, we're going to hit pretty much the lower 70s for the next three days. And the lows all the way from 40 to 55. Well, that's all I got for weather. Now back over to the anchors. Doesn't sound too bad at all. We have a common knowledge today. Today's episode is about geography. Nebraska. Whoa, uh, Washington. No, that's wrong. It is wrong. Montana. Montana. That is Minnesota. I think Nevada. Uh, Kansas. <clears throat> Texas. South American country is this. Argentina. Argentina. Brazil. Argentina. <laughs> Pass. South America. South America? Oh, okay, give it back. Venezuela. Argentina. Brazil. Yeah, that's oh. right. Yeah, South American country. Argentina. 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 Africa. <laughs> Brazil. Oh, um. Egyptian. I mean, <laughs> whatever the Egyptians live. Egypt. 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 Yeah, yeah. This is Egypt in South America. It is. <laughs> oh. I think that's Argentina. Um, is that Chile? What country is this? <laughs> is that right side up? Yes, this is, this is the correct <laughs> way. Ireland. Europe. Um. Is that Europe? No. <laughs> I don't even know what countries are in Europe. <laughs> Ireland. Is this France? Country. France. Oh yeah, France, because there's Spain at the bottom. Europe. France. Germany. I don't even know what's in Europe. Um, <laughs> France. France. No, start oh, down gosh. there. Wait, wait. No, I, that maybe looks, even two on the right, and left. Maine. 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 Yep, that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Northeast. I am terrible. No, I know, I know. <laughs> Wait, I, so I, I, I know. This is no, I know. This is the, this is the closest state to Africa, I, if that helps. <laughs> if, if I had to it say, um, it's also my, my main really answer would be Maine. 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 Which U.S. state is this? Uh, Maine. Maine. Boston. <laughs> Maine. I'm gonna have to go with uh, it's the closest to Africa if that helps. What? It's like Florida then. What the heck? No, it's <laughs> the closest to Africa. <laughs> Where's Africa? <laughs> oh, uh, Topeka. It's not a state. Um, I think Georgia. I think that's um Maine. That was some pretty challenging questions. Yeah. Well, there's no more news left, so goodbye. For tomorrow's show, we have a story about Mr. Blackman's retirement, and Sports Force will have another 100-meter interview. See you then.